Hi, I'm Tom Field. Thanks for watching. Listen, we all love astronomy, right? And we teach it in either formal or informal outreach settings. And as you know, the spectra of stars are the bedrock upon which so much of our astronomical knowledge is based. The thing is, as teachers, we just haven't had the tools to teach spectroscopy effectively. If you've tried those handheld gratings, you know how frustrating they can be to actually find the spectrum. Students struggle and frequently even fail to find it. Even if they find the spectrum, it's a private experience for them. They can't measure anything, they can't share it with their classmates, and you can't teach with it. So I want to show you two things that can remove these kinds of obstacles and make it much easier for you to teach spectroscopy. The first thing is this small USB spectrometer. It's got a diffraction grating built in. You just plug it into your Mac or PC and then you can show live spectra on your overhead. All of your students see the same thing at the same time, which is really a game changer. So let's see how it works. I'm going to put the spectrometer on the lab bench and I'm going to turn on my gas tube. So this is the live screen of the Mac and Windows software that comes with the spectrometer. There's that glowing gas tube live. I didn't have to do anything complicated to set it up. No focusing, no exposure settings, no calibration. I just plug the spectrometer into my Mac or Windows computer and pointed it at the gas tube. On the left here is a live view. See, there's that, that's my hand. It really is a live view. And here's the spectrum produced by the grating in the camera. It's this live view that makes all the difference when we're teaching. There's no struggling. There's no private experience. Everyone sees the same thing at the same time, including this intensity graph of the spectrum. These peaks here are the spectrum emission lines. For example, this doublet here, that's the double peaks here. So we're seeing the spectral fingerprint of helium. OK, so now I've switched to a hydrogen gas tube. Of course, this is a different fingerprint spectrum than the helium. Here are the bomber lines. And we can use the built-in reference library in the software by clicking on this hydrogen bomber option. So the graph is overlaid by these blue reference lines. Now we can identify the hydrogen, alpha, beta, and gamma lines. For more complicated classes, you can pop up this energy diagram and show which transitions are causing which lines. So this software is, you know, really very effective in teaching. Quite a few educators actually use it in a student lab, for example, to identify mystery gas tubes. If you do astronomical imaging with a small telescope or track DSLR, you can use a star analyzer grating to capture the spectra of stars. You just screw it into the astronomical camera or if you're using a DSLR onto the nose piece. Then with just a four inch telescope, using the same software we saw a moment ago, you and your students can look at the spectra of stars. Here, for example, is a live video viewed at the telescope. This is Vega. Notice the absorption features here, here, and here. And guess what? These are the same hydrogen bomber lines we saw in the gas tube. How cool is that? So whether it's a gas tube spectrum or astronomical spectra, this is a great tool to bring the important field of spectroscopy to your students.